Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we will talk about one of the most fascinating and revolutionary project, which is Web3 Auth. So using Web3 Auth, we can actually log into any blockchain DAP with just Web2 login methods, such as login via Google, login via Twitter, login via mobile and everything. So in this video, we will see how to integrate that into our project completely from scratch. So uh, I'm just giving you a demo how this is actually works. So this is a setup uh, where I have enabled the login system and all the details which we can perform after the login. So uh, right now the user is not connected to the uh, our DAP. So we have a login button. So once I click over this button, we can see lots of options of Web2 actually are coming over here. So we can log in using Google, using Facebook, using Reddit, Discord, even with the mobile number. And we can also choose the wallet, the external wallet, which is MetaMask, Trust Wallet or any other uh, wallet. So let's choose Google first. So it's uh, authenticating my Google account. So these are my accounts. I'm choosing one out of it. And it's verifying. And finally, we are now connected. So you could see uh, my account is connected now. You could see the user info, which is Tahir Hamad, and this is the email. And this is my wallet address, which is created by Web3 Auth. We can also get the chain ID, which is 8001. I'm setting up Matic testnet. And we can also check the balance, which is a uh, native balance of the uh, chain. So if we go to this address, just to verify it, Mumbai dot polygon scan. And if we search here, we could see the same balance here like this. So that means everything is working. So this is actually a read transaction. So if we wanted to send any transaction, we also have that functionality implemented here. I would show you through the console. So I have enabled a transaction for approve. So once I click send approve transaction, so this is the transaction has which is returning. So if we copy it and see on the polygon scan, we can see this transaction is submitted. So let's wait. Waiting for the transaction to confirm. And finally, our transaction is successful now. And we can see the approved transaction, which happened just 18 seconds ago. So we can actually, uh, send any transaction we can read any function and we can connect with the decentralized application using social authentication so if i log out we can see the again login button is here if i click we can see the pop-up is again coming so let's go through the code and understand how this web3 auth implementation is actually works into the code so this is my uh, visual studio code where I'm uh, opening Web3 tutorial uh, project, which is live on GitHub also. I, I will share the link into the description. So you just need to understand uh, three to four files. So first file is package.json. Here we have some packages which you need to install. So web uh, three packages are from Web3 auth. One is base, second is model, and third is open login adapter. So once you are uh, added these uh, plugins, so second thing you have to understand is configurations. So you just need to copy and paste. So this is actually required for Web3 auth uh, working. And third file which you have to understand is app.js. So into app.js we have multiple uh, local handling, uh, authentication handling and things are there. And fourth file is Web3 auth RPC which we are importing it into the app.js file. So, so let's understand this. So we are basically have functions here for get chain ID, get accounts, get balance, send transaction, send contract based transaction, get private keys. So let's go to the app.js directly. So we are importing a Web3 auth object from Web3 auth model and few configuration like chain namespaces. You will understand it here. So these are states which we are managing into the application. So this is the first use effect function where uh, whenever the application loads so this function is actually calls here so this is the initial configuration of web3 auth so web3 auth new web3 auth object we are passing client id 
So to get the client ID, you have to visit to dashboard of the Web3 auth and then you can retrieve your uh, client ID and you can use here. So there are few chain configuration to which chain you wanted to connect your application. So I'm using a uh, Polygon testnet. So here is the chain ID for the Polygon testnet and the RPC target. So once it is done, I'm just editing the model and rest everything is done. So if the previous state like application is already connected, so I am doing some operations here. If connected, then fetch the user detail, fetch the get account details and kind of things are there. So let's uh, toggle this. So this is another function which I have created uh, is connected. So where web3 auth.status is equal to connected, that means the wallet is connected now. So here another function which is handle login. So what we are doing a web3 auth is there then you just need to call this web3 auth dot connect and it will automatically pop up the whole uh, social buttons and you can log in into the application. Second is handle logout. You just need to do web3 auth dot logout and you can manage your states. Second get user info function. So by get clicking this get user info you can get all the details of the user. Like in my case, I'm getting the name, the email ID, the avatar of the Google and everything. Second, get chain ID. So we can get chain ID of the network to which connected. So in, in our case, we have Mate, uh, Matic uh, testnet and get accounts. We can get the address of the user, get the balance. We can get the balance. We can send transaction. We can send contract based transaction. Any customized transaction, we can uh, use this. We can get the private keys also. We and this uh, this is basically for the UI rendering. So if it is logged in, then show this is not logged in, then show this. So these kind of basic uh, UI structuring is here. So you just need to understand only these things. So whenever I click the button, we can actually call these function and get the desired results. So this is web three RPC, which I have already explained. So here we have function like get chain ID, get accounts. So these are basic uh, web three functions for the chain ID. You could see we are just passing the provider and we are getting the instance of web three and based on instance web three dot e dot get chain ID. It gives us actually chain ID based on the provider. So it's a kind of wrapper over the web three. So this is the way we can actually implement the social login. So I want to also show you how this web three object look like so that you can understand the structure of the web three auth object. So let me run this project first. Uh, so uh, let me click to the inspect and go to the console now. So we are in console now. You could see a web three auth object is here. If we expand this, we can see multiple properties are here. So this is you could see status which is connected and storage is local storage. So basically web three auth is storing all the uh, related data, authentication related data into local storage to manage these states and everything. So we are connected. So that same thing I have used into the code is connected function. So, so that we can understand whether this web three auth is connected or not a kind of single function to interact with. And we can see login model. We can see core options. We can see open login here. And we can also see multiple events are here connected, connecting, disconnected. So we can actually go to the advanced level also once we have implemented this basic thing. So this is all uh, we can see uh, how this social login is actually works. So if I click on logout, so everything will be reset to the basic screen. So uh, this is all about the Web3 auth implementation. If you feel any doubt, or anything that you wanted to know more about the web three auth implementation, you can write it down into the comment section and I will try to address that into the next video or maybe into the comment section. Thanks once again for watching this web three auth video.